don't know, Blue Ivy um, was oh, on a private God. jet like she usually is okay. and was photographed in her daddy's arms where she's usually perched, okay. looking over her kingdom, surveying the peasants, <laughs> analyzing their poor lives. And no sympathy about no, that. None, none. Zero. Like, really? Un- a- Really a thirst for knowledge Just, of how we survive. <laughs> I mean, she's already, they took her to this place you call Disney World, and she was so perplexed as to why everyone was gleeful. She was just like, what is all of this? But these are community rides. I don't. Oh. So anyway, mm. and paparazzi caught photos of the family looking very normal, like more dressed down than you normally see Jay-Z and Beyonce. And they caught Blue Ivy with her hair very unkempt while clearly had not been combed that day. Now, of course, the internet had a fit because the internet hates any time Beyonce does anything. Right. So, of course, the internet was mad about Blue Ivy's hair being uncombed. And I pretty much ignored it because I don't really care. Like, okay, you have opinions. You feel like Beyonce should comb her hair. Great for you. I don't really give a shit about your opinion on that. But I let all that shit go. Just like we were talking about earlier with the listener letter and how sometimes you want to speak up for no reason and you have to learn to just let some things go. I let that go. Until today, when somebody created a petition on change.org, which is not some bullshit organization. Like, even though they will email you all the time about stuff you don't necessarily care about, they at least deal with real issues, legal issues. A change.org petition helped get Trayvon Martin's murder, George Zimmerman arrested, like, they do actually count for something. Yeah. So somebody used change.org to create a petition to get Beyonce and Jay-Z to comb Blue Ivy's hair. Now, here's the thing about that. First of all, Blue Ivy Carter is two years old. She is two years old. She will not even be three until next January. The fact that you niggas are this pressed over a two-year-old's afro blows my fucking mind. Do you not have jobs? Do you not have hobbies? Do you not have kids of your own who are running around looking stank and could use a bath or at least a wash down? Like, don't sit here and act like your kid has never had a fucked up hair day. Don't sit here and act like you sit down in front of your baby every day and comb your child's hair because there's plenty of y'all, especially on the weekends, you'd be like, I don't give a good goddamn what y'all do as long as y'all stay in that other room and don't wake me up so don't sit up here and act like your kids ain't went outside to the mailbox or to play in the yard or whatever the fuck else with they hair looking like who the fuck did this to you don't even front yes blue ivy got to look like maybe she had just waken up and she was descending from her jet and just did really it just looked like nobody in that family gave a fuck about hair that day so (laughs) oh well blue ivy's hair was not Combed, nigga, this is not important enough to put in a goddamn petition. But what really pisses me off about this is not that it's just that Blue Ivy's a child, which is a big deal to me. I don't talk about people's kids, even Kim Kardashian, who I completely do not see the purpose in her existence. I do not talk about her baby. I can, I love her baby. I think that child has, you know, every right and should have every opportunity to grow up like a normal She's ass the person. Only nice thing I can say about Kim Kardashian. That is it. So even if it's somebody like that where I just don't even really see the point of you being alive, I will still at least not come for your baby because your child does not deserve that. And it's not even that it's Beyonce, who is a celebrity, yes, but at the level of celebrity where no matter what she does, people have something to say about it. Literally getting off an airplane and walking with her husband and child, people are going to have something to say about that. Most celebrities, you know, there's some scrutiny, but it's not as bad as what Jay-Z and Beyonce go through. So I know, again, that this is a bigger story because of whose child she is. But the real motherfucking problem is that the number one reason you niggas are mad is because Blue Ivy's hair is nappy and you wish it wasn't. That is the number one goddamn reason y'all talking about Beyonce should call Blue Ivy's hair. Because I cannot count how many white celebrities, black celebrities with mixed kids, black celebrities with kids who have two type 2 hair, type 3 hair, have walked around and been photographed by the paparazzi in regular ass everyday clothes and look a mess and nobody ever starts a fucking petition for somebody to comb their hair when jules had that crazy long hair and that big afro and everything it wasn't oh solange no she need to take that child down to the barbershop to get his hair cut it was oh his hair is so cute and oh my god his little curly afro is so pretty google um 
Halle Berry's daughter, Nala Aubrey. Nala mm -hmm. Aubrey is a gorgeous child who I'm sure when she's grown will slay the entire universe. Yep. But that baby's hair is combed literally the fuck never. <laughs> you Google that child, her hair is always everywhere. But you know why nobody says anything? Because her shit is silky and smooth and she has big loose curls and niggas love how much white blood is going through her body. And that's why nobody says, Halle Berry knows she need to sit her ass down and comb that child's hair. That child's hair is not combed. You have a problem with it because Blue Ivy has black hair. If you have a problem with black hair, you need to deal with your own damn prejudices, but at least admit it to your fucking self. You bitches walking around here ain't seen your natural hair texture since the 90s. You buying weave out of bags, wondering why Blue Ivy's hair is out here prospering in its gorgeous 4C fro. Like, whatever. Let that baby live. I'm so tired of y'all not letting little black girls with black characteristics just live their fucking lives. It's bad enough that she has to be Beyonce and Jay-Z's child and deal with all y'all's bullshit while counting her millions, but still dealing with y'all's bullshit but for you to put your own insecurities about blackness onto that child is extremely fucking unfair. And on another note, if your baby has a relaxer, then it's the fuck nothing you can say to me about what a little girl's hair should look like because we fundamentally disagree on that. I would never put a relaxer in a child's hair. Absolutely never. So all you who are over here trotting your kids to the beautician at three and four because you don't know how to deal with some kinks and you want somebody to just slap something in and make it easier for you to deal with, shut the fuck up when black people who are letting their children prosper with black hair are talking. That's all I have to say about that. All righty. You know something? Yes. <laughs> and also keep in mind, like, <laughs> you have to also remember that at the very end of the day, Blue Ivy could never have her hair brushed. They could just be like, you know what? We're never, and that's not like she never does. Blue Ivy has nappy hair, but it's not like they never, ever, ever comb it. You've right. seen pictures of it where it does look rough or whatever, but they we've all seen plenty of pictures where her hair is done. And so it's not like and they beautiful. don't it's ever do anything to it. All of them got off that jet or whatever and looked like we just got up. Don't say nothing to it. Beyonce had on like tennis shoes like, and a hoodie. Shucks, right. It's not like they were all done up to go to the fucking fucking Met Gala or whatever and Blue Ivy was just looking like she just and wandered out of the fucking swamp. Also, what would photos of you look like if you had people following you Come everywhere you on. go, taking pictures of you all the time? Yes. Think about that. When you have somebody take a picture of you or when you're taking a picture of yourself, you do it or you try yes. to look your best. Because that's the only time people, people people are taking pictures of you. Right. If people are taking pictures of you, when you look a mess, it's probably on the bus or the subway and they're waiting for you to turn your head so they can put you on their Instagram. Come on. So, if you have people in your face every waking moment of your life when you're in public, what the fuck would your photos look like? <laughs> That's one. And also remember, the blue ivy could have mats and dreads and whatever the fuck it have. They could shave that whole girl's head ball tomorrow. She will still be able to afford your baby's hair. <laughs> She'll just buy a whole child scalp if that is what she desires. So you remember that shit before you start the petitions. And then going on change.org, that it's full of actual petitions that mean something and right. you're playing a game. Like, just grow the fuck up. Like, ha ha ha, it was supposed to be a joke. Ha ha, Beyonce can do something with that baby's head. Okay, but that is somebody's child. Like, oh, it's so funny to talk about Beyonce. Let's knock Beyonce down a few pics. Whatever. Beyonce's a grown ass lady, but Blue Ivy is too. We can all agree to draw the line at kids. We can. Y'all can grow the fuck up. Well, that is three. Yes.